everyone, Joanna Wilson here for my AQA A-Level Biology Masterclass. Now today we are focusing on Section 1, Biological Molecules, and we are looking at monomers and polymers. It's just what I in. So if we look at our checklist, there's a couple of outcomes on there that hopefully at the end of this session we are going to be able to tick off. So they are the following. I understand that a monomer is a small unit from which larger molecules are made, that polymers are molecules made from a large number of monomers joined together. Monosaccharides, amino acids and nucleotides are examples of monomers. A condensation reaction joins two molecules together and forms a chemical bond that involves the elimination of a molecule of water. And hydrolysis reaction breaks a chemical bond between two different molecules with the use of a water molecule. So that's the outcomes that we're focusing on today. Let's get started. So what is a monomer? A monomer is a small unit from which larger molecules are made. So in a reaction, it would be the building block of a really, really long unit. And examples of these are monosaccharides, which form long carbohydrates, amino acids, which form long proteins, and nucleotides which form DNA. So these are some biological examples, but the takeaway from that is that a monomer is the building block. It's the small molecule for which, when joined together, makes a larger molecule. So if that's a monomer, then a polymer is a molecule that's made up from many monomers that are joined together. And I think the picture on this slide does a really good job of explaining what both a monomer and a polymer is and how that when you join monomers together using chemical bonds, it works to form a polymer. So a couple of examples of biological polymers that we have spoke about briefly are polysaccharides, which are carbohydrates, polypeptides, which are proteins, and polynucleotides, which form our DNA and our RNA. So what you might notice from a couple of these names is that the monomers start with mono and the polymers start with poly. So that's how we can distinguish between the two different molecules. So yeah, our polysaccharides are made up of monosaccharides and a couple of examples of these are glucose, galactose, fructose, things like that. Our polypeptides are made up of amino acids and our polynucleotides are made up of nucleotides. So the amino acids and the nucleotides are the monomers and the polypeptides and the polynucleotides are the polymers. So it is a pretty simple concept and I hope that's starting to make sense. And we will come across all these different examples in later sessions, but today we're just focusing on the principles of monomers and polymers. Hello guys, I'm currently in the rainy jungle in Thailand, but thank you so much for watching this little teaser for my AQA A-Level Biology Masterclass. The whole thing is going to be available to download super, super soon on my Just Work website. So if you are a biologist and this is something that you think might help you, then stay tuned. Keep smashing it and remember, anything is possible if you just work. Bye!